Martin, what is time? Oh no, do I have to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> right, this gets very deep very quickly. Um, so if you're not inclined to uh, follow it, I'd suggest that you don't watch any further. Um, so for most people, we watch the hand of a clock, say, moving around. And maybe we watch it for 30 seconds. And we say, 30 seconds has passed. Well, no. What you've really done is you've watched the motion of a hand on a clock. The notion that it's 30 seconds is something that we invent. This is very much uh, tied into uh, Isaac Newton's notion of time. That time exists in its own right. Time is an absolute thing, just like space. And it worked very well for Newton has, and has worked very well for physics. But you should understand that actually it's just uh, uh, an abstraction that's useful. So time really is an abstraction, and I'll have more to say about that later. Um, but for most people, time is a real thing. It exists in the universe, and we are moving through time, through this thing that really exists and is an absolute thing. Enter Einstein. Einstein wasn't happy with that. <clears throat> And what he found, and this is an observable effect, is that if something is moving very fast with respect to you, and by very fast I mean approaching the speed of light, then um, if you look at the clock on that thing that's moving very quickly, you'll see that it's ticking very, very slowly. The time on that rocket ship that's traveling very very quickly is moving so slowly compared with your time now you may remember the movie interstellar um, where a couple of people go down to a planet that's in a very strong gravitational field a black hole gravitational field or very near to one and they leave their uh, mate on a spacecraft somewhere nearby well not nearby quite a way away they are down in, on the planet for an hour or two when they get back to see their mate on the uh, spacecraft they left behind 50 years has passed as i say this gets very deep very quickly did that does that really happen yes it would really happen um, there's a thing called the twin paradox, which I won't cover here because that's even more hairy. Um, but it deals with this thing of two twins traveling relative to each other at a high speed and which one ages and which one doesn't. But another, another video for that. So there's no such thing as absolute time. The time depends upon the observer. Um, and if you enter a very strong gravitational field, then time relative to somebody who's not in that gravitational field will be much quicker. So, these ideas of time and space not being real things, well, I'm talking about time specifically here, could also talk about space. Uh, this idea that time isn't really a property, an absolute property of the universe is quite old. Immanuel Kant said that time and space are properties of the way we perceive the universe, not properties of the universe. And of course, that's backed up by Einstein saying that time is relative to the observer. It isn't an absolute thing out there. So, um, the whole notion of time and space now is being questioned by physicists. They are starting to sniff that there's a deeper reality than time and space. And that time and space emerge from this deeper reality. 
There's a, a very good book by a guy called Donald Hoffman. I think I've mentioned it before, uh, The Case Against Reality, where he says, well, time and space are just ways, well, they're, they're properties of our consciousness, the way we view the world uh, that have been proved to be fairly useful in our survival. And um, there's a physicist from, uh, by the way, Donald Hoffman is a, um, a neuroscience guy, cognitive sciences guy, a professor. And there's a guy called Nima Arkani Hamed, who's a theoretical physicist from Princeton, whose strap line is time and space are doomed. So, uh, what do you what do you get from that? Well, the whole thing is stranger than you might imagine. If you never think about time and space, then you'll just think, well, I'm going from A to B, and it's going to take me so long, and so on. But these are just properties of the way you see the world, not properties of the world itself. And um, we, I did get, get asked, asked a question um, on the last video. So I said, the past and the future are the only real things. No, they're not. They're totally imaginary. The past is in your memory, here, now. The past doesn't exist. And the future is in your imagination, here and now. The only thing you have is here and now. The past doesn't exist, the future doesn't exist. And uh, Spinoza said this 300 years ago or whatever. So people have been saying these things for a long time. And uh, Albert Einstein was really the guy who um, put the, uh, the spanner in the works by finding that time and space are not absolute things. They depend upon the observer. So I shall do more on this topic. Uh, I say I'll do more on it. Yeah, I'll probably do more on it. The thing is, it does get very deep very quickly. 